it's Erin from Wild Birds Unlimited. I've got some tips for you on how to become a better backyard bird photographer. I spoke with Destiny from DB Nature Photography and asked her about her best tips and tricks for photographing birds in your backyard. First up, Destiny, when did you become a bird lover? When I was younger, uh, my grandfather used to take me to uh, the Snow Goose Festival and he was really into bird photography and growing up um, on an acreage just outside of Tollfield, um, he would always count the bird species outside and show us different bird species uh, such as eagles, uh, blue jays and all of that stuff. And so when did you decide to begin photographing the birds? Me and my fiance went to Victoria and um, we actually ended up coming across a barred owl and it was absolutely like mind-blowing. It was just like, owls are my favorite uh, birds. And since then, our hobby for birding has excelled and we got uh, proper camera equipment and uh, did a lot of research as to uh, the best uh, kind of birding uh, lenses, uh, camera frames, and all of that stuff. So yeah, it's just really incredible. I just find that you can go anywhere, uh, just even five minutes, ten minutes outside of your community and find all sorts of different birds um, that you've never seen before. How is taking pictures of birds different from taking pictures of anything else? Yeah, so it is quite different. Um, I feel like with portrait photography, I have a lot more um, control over the composition of the photos. Um, with bird photography, it's really on like the spear of the whim kind of uh, spotting birds, then being able to um, get your camera out in time to take a photo of them. Um, some of them are quite like sporadic and they move quite frequently, so it can be quite the challenge. Um, but being a photographer, I do love the challenge of being able to capture birds in their natural habitat. Um, the other thing is, is learning about different uh, birding calls and sounds that they make. Um, so you're kind of using both your senses when it comes to birding photography. Not only are you just seeing them, but you're also hearing them with your ears kind of as they make a call. Because I can very much so now hear a, a call or a song and I know exactly what kind of bird species that is. I, I always say to people like, you can literally go anywhere and just find beauty in everything. For someone just starting out, what are your best tips or the best advice that you could give? So I would say like there's a lot of um, YouTube channels and videos that are a good start. Um, you know, watching other people who are professional bird photographers, they usually will give away some of their um, some of their settings on their cameras, um, and then just to know like the difference of between your camera settings, like what it would look like if you were to shoot a perch bird as compared to a bird in flight. Um, there are definitely some different camera settings. Um, good camera equipment is essential. Um, I really enjoy our 100 to 400 millimeter lens as uh, you know most of the birds I can take pictures of from a very far distance without disturbing them. The eBird uh, website is a really great spot to be able to learn where birds have been sighted and then you can also just go out and kind of mosey around especially if you're looking for a certain type of bird species um, such as like a short-eared owl or um, you know barred owls or anything else they kind of give you a good generalization of where to find those types of birds. So one of the tips I always try to tell people when they're out birding is a lot of people when they're walking generally look down as they're taking their steps is to look up and it can get quite straining on the neck but that's where you're gonna spot most of your birds is high up in the trees and it's actually incredible how many birds don't make any sounds at all and you will spot them just by sight. Sometimes it's really beneficial, especially with like waterfowl or different types of birds to kind of blend in with your surroundings. 
Dawn and dusk can be great times uh, to go out and take bird photography. A lot of birds are nocturnal and they'll come out around those times to hunt and uh, look for different uh, food. And then as well as fall and spring migration is a really, really great time to get out and, and see different, different types of bird species. Do you have some favorite places to go to take pictures of birds? Like I said before, you can go anywhere, um, just walking outside your door or even having a bird feeder in your backyard and you'll honestly see birds from like house sparrows, I've even had a shrub-shrimp hawk in my backyard recently. Um, I even drove all the way out to Beaver Hill Bird Observatory to see the Sandhill Cranes came home and they actually flew above my house and I was like wow this is so incredible so your community is such a beautiful place to be able to observe some of these birds but also just going out and observing birds outside of the community um, because it's a little bit less trafficked and there's a lot more birds. Without getting too specific, what are some good options for camera equipment for someone who's just starting out? No, actually, so I do like my 100 to 400 because I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Um, however, it is a very pricey lens, so it, it can cost you quite a bit. I would say for a beginner photographer, they have prime lenses that are set at 400 millimeters, f-stop 5.6, which are a little bit less in price than, um, let's say, the 100, 400 millimeters. Um, but you know, I'd say for sure, getting a proper lens is is the most essential thing. A camera body, you know, they're so uh, advanced with technology nowadays that you don't need. Um, a good camera body to be able to take good pictures. I'd say uh, buy a basic camera body and then as you go along do your research to find out what is the best um, a camera frame that would work for birding photography. Having a good uh, tripod or monopod really helps for stabilization so I find that's really helpful um, especially if I'm out hiking I find my monopod is super beneficial because I just stick my camera on it um, and then I'm able to stabilize my camera to take pictures because again my 100 to 400 millimeter is quite heavy same with the camera body so when I'm holding it um, there is quite a bit of motion blur. Thanks Destiny! You've taught us a lot about taking pictures of the birds in our yard and when you do get that perfect shot send it to us at WBU Edmonton at gmail.com. We'd love to check it out. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon in the store. Wild Birds Unlimited Edmonton, 12204 107th Avenue.